Space, it's not the final frontier anymore. Elon Musk and his company SpaceX have some big plans in store to explore that great beyond. What's next for SpaceX? What big plans does Elon Musk have in store for his spacefaring company? And the big question, will SpaceX win the space race to Mars? Stay tuned to find out all this and a whole lot more. What's going on at SpaceX? SpaceX has been making some big moves lately with some big rocket launches. On January 6th, Falcon 9 launched 49 Starlink satellites into orbit. Starlink is SpaceX's satellite satellite division with the goal of giving low-cost, high-speed internet for all. Starlink already has nearly 2,000 satellites in Earth orbit. Musk says that his inexpensive high-speed internet will be available worldwide by the end of the year. Of course, a major part of SpaceX's plans are their reusable rockets. SpaceX prides itself on its reusable rockets, which dramatically lower the cost of traveling into space. Falcon 9, the company's flagship rocket, boasts 134 total launches with 94 landings and 75 reflown rockets. Did you know that the Falcon 9 was named after the Millennium Falcon of Star Wars fame, and the 9 represents the number of engines aboard the rocket. Falcon Heavy is SpaceX's most powerful rocket, and they claim it to be twice as powerful as any other rocket in the world. According to SpaceX's website, the rocket can carry a fully loaded 737 airliner into orbit with passengers and luggage. Falcon Heavy has been reflown four times. Famously, the first launch of Falcon Heavy included a payload of a Tesla Roadster, originally owned by Elon Musk himself. When will the next launch be? Space SpaceX was the first to launch a rocket from Cape Canaveral in 2022. That was the Starlink mission which launched 49 satellites into orbit. And SpaceX isn't slowing down anytime soon. They plan for no less than three missions within the first month of the year. In 2022, SpaceX plans to launch at least 30 more times. The launches all have a variety of payloads, from more Starlink satellites to the first private spacecraft to land on the moon. A majority of these launches will be at the Kennedy Space Center complex in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Other launch locations include the SpaceX Launch Facility in Brownsville, Texas, and the Vandenberg Space Launch Complex in Lompoc, California. Falcon 9 is participating in most of these launches, but Falcon Heavy has a few liftoff plans as well. In February of 2022, SpaceX plans to launch Falcon Heavy with a classified U.S. Space Force payload. The launch will utilize new side boosters and a new Central Core booster. Also planned for February of 2022 is the Axiom Space Mission, a manned flight aboard the Falcon 9 rocket. But more on that later. What's next for Musk's space-faring company. Another big piece of the SpaceX puzzle is their rideshare program. Although not quite Uber in space yet, SpaceX offers private companies a spot on the payload for upcoming SpaceX launches, all starting at the low, low cost of $1 million. SpaceX is a commercial space program after all. With Falcon 9 rockets having a 98% success rate, companies are likely to use this rideshare program to put stuff into space. It's definitely cheaper than starting their own rocket program. Naturally, the the big plan for SpaceX is getting humans into space. For that, SpaceX utilizes their Dragon spacecraft. The Dragon spacecraft can take up to seven passengers to and from Earth orbit, and perhaps maybe even beyond that. The Dragon spacecraft is the only privately owned vehicle to take humans to the International Space Station. The safety and reusability of the rockets of SpaceX is the key link in the next step of human space travel. Speaking of, the next step of SpaceX's journey into manned space travel is their latest spacecraft, Starship. Starship and combination with a super heavy rocket, promises to take humans to the moon and beyond. After all, the Falcon super heavy rocket is even more powerful than the Saturn V rocket that took humans to the moon. Starship planes have its first orbital test flight in mid-2022. The future looks very bright for SpaceX indeed. They're looking to revolutionize manned space travel, planning for trips to the moon and beyond. Maybe one day, you might be able to book a flight aboard one of Elon's spacecraft. Can you actually buy a ticket to space through SpaceX? When will SpaceX make that big leap to Mars, and does SpaceX have competition in the next great space race? Keep watching to find out. Is SpaceX booking commercial flights already? SpaceX already has commercial booking available through their rideshare program, although this hasn't been used for humans quite just yet. That doesn't mean SpaceX is shying away from the idea of commercially available manned space flight. Remember Starship? The SpaceX website boasts time comparisons between a commercial airline flight and a Starship flight, where a trip from Los Angeles to London would take 10 hours and 30 30 minutes on a commercial airline, a Starship flight would only take 32 minutes. According to NASA, SpaceX is free to sell flights to anyone who can afford the trip on the Dragon capsule. The Dragon capsule has already visited the International Space Station almost 30 times, with three of those flights including living, breathing passengers. In fact, aboard the Dragon capsule will be the first private visit to the International Space Station, Axiom Mission 1. With a planned launch date of March 10, 2022, four crew members will stay on the International Space Station for eight days before 
before returning to Earth on the same Dragon capsule. Originally, Tom Cruise was anticipated to be on this flight to film for a movie, but plans have changed for him to fly on another flight later in the future. Other manned space flights planned for SpaceX in 2022 include NASA astronauts, a Japanese astronaut, a Russian cosmonaut, and the winner of a reality TV show called Who Wants to Be an Astronaut? Will they ever get to Mars? Mars is still a big goal for SpaceX. Elon Musk himself has said, it's important that we try to become a multi-planet civilization, extend life beyond Earth, and to do so as quickly as we can. But first, the moon. NASA has already chosen SpaceX to develop a lunar-optimized starship to transport crew to the surface of the moon, and it could be happening quicker than you think. As early as 2023, SpaceX plans to have a manned space flight around the moon. The project, known as Dear Moon, was funded and conceived by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa. The plan is to have Meizawa and up to eight other people fly aboard a SpaceX Starship for an eight-day journey that will take them to a lunar orbit and back to Earth. Of course, this all has to happen after Starship has already flown an unmanned mission to the moon and back. SpaceX has plans to launch Starship for an Earth orbit test flight in March of 2022. After successfully landing on the moon, there's no doubt that SpaceX will continue its upward trajectory towards Mars. The plan is to master the launches of Starship aboard Falcon Heavy, introduce in-orbit refueling of the spacecraft, and get the first unmanned Starship to Mars by 2024. According to one CNBC article, Elon Musk is highly confident that SpaceX will land humans on Mars by 2026. Who will win the billionaire space race? But Elon Musk is the only billionaire rushing to get to space. Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Galactic, and Jeff Bezos, Amazon entrepreneur and Blue Origin creator, have both already made trips to the near reaches of space. In July of 2021, Richard Branson and three others flew on the spaceship to VSS Unity. Unlike SpaceX's launches, which are far more typical vertical liftoff, Branson's spaceflight actually began aboard an airplane. The airplane carried the VSS Unity high into Earth's atmosphere. The VSS Unity then detached from the plane and continued its journey to 86 kilometers, or about 53.6 miles, above the Earth's surface. Although above the United States boundary of 50 miles, which declares it a space flight, some critics argue that the ship never reached the Kármán line of 100 kilometers above Earth's surface. So it could be argued that Richard Branson never actually reached space. Jeff Bezos's company, Blue Origin, utilized their spacecraft, New Shepard. Aboard that spacecraft, Jeff Bezos, his younger brother Mark, and two others successfully launched to an altitude of 107 kilometers, or 66.5 miles. Similar to SpaceX, Blue Origin looks to make access to space less expensive and safer through reusable rockets. Blue Origin also aims for the moon, with a lunar lander named Blue Moon. Bezos claims that the mission will be ready by 2024. A lot of money is certainly being thrown into space by a handful of billionaires, but it certainly is cool to watch their progress. What do you think? Are you excited by what SpaceX is doing? Do you think they'll make it to Mars by 2026? Would you book a space flight with Musk, Branson, or Bezos? Leave a comment below and subscribe for more.